Hi, welcome back to this one. And so um, in the previous sections, we have look at select, from, where, goodbye, order by, and limit clauses. We're left with the union and join, and then the having. So in this section, we'll be looking at having. Now, having and when clauses, essentially very simple clauses. The only difference is the level at which they are used to filter data. So you have your row level data, and then you have aggregated all data. So what do I mean by this? When you write a select uh, or your data set, you will automatically get your row level data, which is for each row, whatever returns, it will be the row level data. And even if you are sort of like a function, maybe you're converting the date when you put the year on date and say, oh, I'm calling this the year column. When you run this query, essentially what you're doing is you're still generating another row level data. As long as you're not needing to sort of, like, um, you know, when it's not sort of the theme is sort of making the aggregation. The only time you are aggregating data is when you like sum, count, average, and when you're sort of using like percentage, right? What happens in this case is it reduces, like an aggregate is sort of like a summary. It reduces the data from, you know, the individual level to a higher level to say like, okay, I want to count the number of boys and girls we have in a class. You go from the individual boys and girls to just a boy's bucket and a girl's bucket. So you're only looking at just two buckets. Um, but initially, perhaps you had like 200 people in your classrooms. But now you go from 200 people to have two buckets. And you're just counting on the two buckets. And so this is essentially, like, you know, this is what we go from, well, that's what we probably call like row level to, you know, aggregated level. Now, the where is very good at filtering on aggregated level when you have, when you convert this to the year, it, you are still on a row level because then you still have your data on a normal level. You're not doing any sort of aggregation. Now, the where would filter very well on the, on the row level. So you could perhaps say, oh, I wanted to, um, you know, only get data for, say, like, um, maybe 2019 of, of this city. 2019 or perhaps um, 2019 or um, this date. And so when we run the data, what ha happened is we get data for 2019 of, you know, this date, which is essentially the 1st of December. However, um, we could also even maybe apply the function. We can apply the function here and say, oh, I wanted to get the data for only 2019. But in this case, as well, I would be able to get data. So it doesn't necessarily have to be on that same date. It could be on another date. Perhaps I could get the date for 2018. And this is where we sort of like does um, you know, its own job. It does a very, very efficient job on the raw level. However, um, when you move slightly above the raw level and you say, I would like to do like a sum of the value. In this case, um, I need from seeing the data on a row level to seeing the data per year. So just per year. In this case, when I run the data, what happened is it reduces the amount of rows that it will bring, you know, in total. In the previous case, we only were able to reduce it by the limit, but now we're able to summarize the data. And so maybe one good trick we could do is we could maybe even order by and see that we can only order by year column and then see which data, you know, which year is sort of like, you know, how does the years go? Another very big trick we could do is maybe perhaps we could even order by the sum of the value and maybe we could call it total value. And then we order by the total value, total value. And so now we could 
then do a descending so that we get the highest total value on the top and then we get the lowest on the bottom. Now, one thing we can maybe even do now is when we maybe we could then say, okay, perhaps we're only interested in, um, let's say we are only interested in any year that is above the average, right? So maybe we're interested in year, um, or perhaps we're sort of interested in years that is above, say, like this instance. This is maybe a value. And then we copy this value, right? If we put this, if we say where total value is equal to this, one problem we will get is we cannot use total value. Why? Because total value is a case function. So aggregate function is the sum. You cannot use this aggregate value here. You need to use what is a row level data in the where. You cannot use an adding field in where. So if you want to do what you can do in this case is use a half. If you need to do uh, use to filter on an aggregate value, then you need to use a having. And so in this case, you, know, you could then say, okay, I want and I will see that particular year that has a sum of this amount because this is aggregate. Or maybe perhaps I'm even interested in greater than or equal to, then I will be able to see every year that is greater than this or it's equal to this. And then I will see everything like this. And so this is the idea all of the having. And we can use it for, you know, to do a lot of things, you know, Perhaps we could also say, okay, we yeah. are trying to see what is the average total value. And we want to see perhaps when we, maybe we just do the um, you know, average value here first, right? And then we see the average value here. Let's see. And then maybe we just deactivate this for the meantime and run the query. So when we run the query, what happens is we see the average value each year. So somehow we could say, okay, perhaps we're interested in seeing when the average value is this value. And so here, because average value is aggregate field, we will somehow put it in the having column, right? So we'll put it in the having column. So maybe we're interested to see when it is greater than this. And so when we do that, now, they will see the cases where the average value is this value. So if we're interested in seeing, like, you know, to filter on the aggregate level of the data, in this case, you have it, but when you are interested in filtering on the raw level of the data, you use the where. Note that you use the habit together with a group by. You can never use having without the group by. And the reason why is because for you to have an aggregate value, you need to have a group by. So before you can even have it, you have to filter an aggregate. So somehow you need to have the group by every time you have that. This is another very important thing. And so this is the, this is the point of having. Um, if you have some questions, you can drop in in the comment section and then we will um, address it. Thank you.